Hey, this is your teacher, Mr. J. Today we are going to look at inputting MIDI using your mouse. In the last video we looked at recording MIDI. This time we're going to look at inputting it with your mouse. So let's get started by starting up a virtual instrument track. We are going to use the Sample Tank 3 as we've been using. I am on a PC, so some of the shortcuts will be a little different if you're on the Mac. You can look that up yourself. I'm going to find a sound that came with my iRig pads, dubstep drum kit 5, just for fun. And how we're going to start by inputting, you have to have something almost like a palette to draw on first. So I'm going to select two measures and I'm going to insert a new MIDI item in those two measures. You'll see that change slightly there. I'm going to double click on those and then we are going to end up with a, a bit of an editor here. Okay, This is what I kind of call the worm's eye view, where you zoom in on the MIDI part and you're able to uh, then edit and select different notes within that. We're going to find our notes by clicking on the different keys. This is called the piano roll on the left hand side, the piano roll, and you'll find like a kick on C2 and the B below that, usually a snare in there, various other sounds as part of this kit, which is why I wanted to use it. So we're going to start just simply by uh, looking at the grid here. You can select the grid and it'll change by different denominations of notes. I'm going to go with the 16th note, essentially creates a grid where there's 16 blocks for each measure. And that just allows for a lot of, of good editing. It's about right about the middle in terms of, of being able to do really quick notes and, and uh, longer notes. And you can always drag them out a little bit more. So simple editing technique is double clicking on whatever note that you want to put in. There's my kick. You can also, if you want to do a longer note, this makes more sense with piano, you can uh, click and, and drag a note out. So we can click, double click on notes there. And we just have a simple kick, snare, kick, snare, double kick actually, I just added a second kick onto there. If we click down here, this will be the repeat button. So whatever I have selected here, see these two little markers up here, when I play it back, okay, you're getting that. And, and now, so we've got the double click. If I want to erase a note, I just double click on that note again, erase it. If I want to stretch a note out, I can go to the end like that. If I want to move a note, I just click right in the middle. And I can move that note around to wherever I want to move it. Okay, getting that so far. If um, I want to, there's a couple shortcut keys here. If I want to take Let's uh, put in a, a hi-hat and I'll show you a little bit of copying and pasting. So let's find our, maybe a hi-hat sound here. There's a little closed hi-hat. We'll try. Maybe I'll like that one better. I'm going to hold down the control key and you get that little plus sign and click and drag that note out like that. Again and again. So now we have this. If I want to take all of those notes and copy them out, I right click, drag a box around them, then control, click and drag. Okay, so now we've got this. And I could do it again to these eight notes. Let's add a couple little kicks in here. And I think I want to double those clicks to, kicks down at the bottom to make it a little more interesting. Uh, 
Now there are all sorts of other notes in or sounds in this kit and I'll just show you how to do that quickly and different ways to and shortcuts to use. If I want to erase a bunch of stuff all together hold down the alt key and I could just click and with the alt key down I can double click and erase and and so on. There we go, there's the erasing going on. I'll do, uh, control Z, undo. You want to go back. Let's put another one here. There's one other shortcut key a lot of people don't know about, Shift and Alt. I'll give you this little paintbrush. And you can actually paint in notes. And it could be kind of interesting leading up to a note, like say right here. We could kind of lead up and just paint a whole bunch of things in. And we'll see what this sounds like. It's kind of random, but we'll see what it sounds like. You can also right click down here at the bottom um, or by dragging over them. There's something called velocity. You can click and drag. The velocity is essentially the volume. You can click and drag that up and down. So if you wanted that a little quieter. And then we could try adding in a few other things just for interest sake. I'm not sure exactly where all these will go. But because we're in the 16th note, it might be kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Maybe not the final thing that I would work with, but you get the idea of how you can click and drag different parts around. So that is basically how you enter MIDI notes in using your mouse. Please uh, leave any comments or questions down below and keep on recording.